Hello guys, welcome back to the channel again. Just uh, gonna get some worms, uh, pump some worms, meeting one of my friends in a minute. Uh, we're not getting out of the baits tonight, so whatever we get now, we'll use it, use it for the other night, three out of the night. So fingers crossed. It's pitch black. It's pitch black on the on the beach. So 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 yeah. Yeah. It is a cold tonight. About four degrees. Full moon's out again. Uh, I don't know if you believe in science, but when the full moon's out, fishes seem to not feed them much, but. You got to be in the water and try throw some bait bait out and hopefully get some fish tonight. Well, we're not fishing the Mersey tonight. Uh, massive tide again. Not not 9.4 meters again. So we're gonna uh, try a uh, new Brighton promenade promenade tonight. Probably fish about two hours up and two hours down. Uh, high tide about half twelve tonight. So. It's about half seven now. The low tide was seven, seven p.m. Uh, just gone low tide now, so just getting down to the beach. So hopefully get some worms, and I'll see you shortly. Alright guys, I'm going to quick show you um, how I get my worms again. What we're looking for here is a blowhole and a cast. This is just the beginning of the beach, so the worm's going to be smaller. So the, the blowhole and the cast, they tend to sit like this. Um, well, depend on the tide and the wind affects the worms as well. So it, it could change the shape. What I do, just go on the straight down onto the blowhole, about ten degree angle, and then give it a few pump. And don't give up after a few pump because because of the weather being cold. And uh, worms uh, seems to be quite deep down, so give it a four, five, even six, uh, six attempt before you can get the worms. Well, so let's have a quick go on this one, see if we can get it out. All you do, push, push your, push your pump a uh, couple of inches down before you pump it. Give it a pump. One. There we go. Came on the second one. Still not a bad size worm. Nice, nice, good. Good start. On to the other one now. We've uh, got quite a few here. Another thing, the blowhole seems to be very close to each other. So there's loads of casts and holes. Uh, you need to figure out which one is, uh, belongs to which uh, blowhole belongs to which cast. So we've got one here. Same again. Push it down a couple of inch. One. And again. Right, we missed one. I think we missed this one now. You gotta be quick as well. Sometimes you miss it like this, so you just go through. Have a quick look through the sand. Oh, actually, we, we got it, but it's uh, 
the split I think this one so on to the next one the one here the camera on goes not the best but you get the idea one two three Is that one again? No, we got it after five, six attempt, but we chopped the tail, but we got the good part anyway, so that'll be a good hook size worm. Right, this one uh, seems a good size. If you see the blow holes here and the cast is here, so more apart the cast from blowhole the more big the worms are so let's have a go on this one <sighs> yeah got that one but unfortunately it got to the out so that's no good to us never mix with the uh, broken worms and uh, good worms together because they they tend to wreck the uh, good worms because of the acid they've got in their in their guts and try and close in the uh, holes after after you're pumping it now uh, i found the other one uh, this one being good as well i'm gonna take two seconds all right on to the next one Now we've got another one. Chop the tail again, but still good bait. Sometimes we come across the shells, shellfish that you just walk round it. No. Probably missed that one. You're not guaranteed to get room each time. So on to the next one now. To be honest, the uh, the pump near is looking at uh, the stopper on top here. Uh, it's broken also, so. And he's looking at it should sit like this still does the job but a bit of a hard work another one low bait these on this particular uh, fishing mark, fish feed on these, so this is the best bait, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, we, I've caught loads of bass with these baits below, below looks, and I've been very successful with the cod fishing as well. All right, guys, just setting up now. Uh, what have we got here? Running Raja with 3 0 Aberdeen and a 1 0 Cox and Roll Chinu as a panel hook. Um, about just over a foot long trace and a 6 ounce lead running Raja. Let's bake this one up first. And a uh, Fresh the pump below look. Doing alright tonight, pumping. Got about 60 or 70 worms. Should last us in a couple of hours, few hours.
what I do, just load two worms. That's one of them. That's the second one. And what you do, you just push it down. And you get the panel hook, one or chinu, cox and roll. Really good, really good hook these. Uh, really sharp. One, two, three. And that's, that's the bait going, up, going out now. Lovely. On the other rod, I've got one up, one down, with the glowing bees on. Not the best of glowing bees, but still attracts flatties and whiting. One or hook. <laughs> These are so fat for this worm, uh, for the hook. Worms are very fat. So get these on. <sighs> Oh, full of juice. Look at my hands. And then the bo bottom hook got quite a bit of a long trace, just over a foot long. It's so a one up, one down. Definitely need to look into it. I think I've got a baiting needle somewhere in the tackle box. Oh, so much juice coming out of here. There we go. Right, we're ready now. I think we've got about two and a half hours to high tide. And uh, we're gonna fish it up and then see how much worms we've got left. And hopefully fish it one half down if we've got any more. Here we go, first cast. The reel I'm using is a Pen Surf Blaster 8000. It was knackered rich, uh, recently, but managed to repair it, put a new uh, drive gear in it. And the uh, rod I'm using, Pen Squadron 2 Surf, I think it's a 15.6, I think. Uh, cost up to 8 pounds. Eight nice rod. On this rod, I've got a diver. What was it? Diva something 6000. Yeah. AG 6000A. 50 pound braid. And a very old and cheap Titan Sport Arena 4, 420. This cost about six, six, uh, six or seven hours. I can't remember. Not the best rod, but still catches. Right, get this one out. And the first fish in. Yeah. Woohoo! First cast. Yeah. Nice little, oh, far looked as well, kind of. Well, yeah, but. Eye gone. Around, wasn't it? Yeah. Are you on fresh base or fresh? No, fresh, uh, just yeah. pumped down there before. Oh, just pumped it to Yeah, yeah, blow look, just literally coming from there now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't use any other baits. Unfortunately, the light eye gone. Good start. Bambino? Yeah, he's a Bambino. Well, in size. Yeah, you're going to let him go? I don't know, eye gone as well. What do you reckon? With eye gone? Yeah. 
Is the boat I got? No one. On a spot of. No way, yeah. sand deal. Sand deal? No way. Yeah. Wow. Re that's a re that, recent, recent sand deal, that wow, as well. Wow, that's a good bait. Yeah. yeah. That is fresh, that is. Yeah. Wow, might chuck this one out. No. Huh? No, Why? Right, guys, first cast caught them for me. About 44 centimeters, I reckon. I might just chuck this one back. A bit too small and the eye gone as well, but she's still so high. Good start. <laughs> first cast codling. Gonna release this fella. Still in size. Just gonna release it. Yeah, first cast, yeah. Yeah, nice. Hopefully it goes back and it has. <laughs> White things are in. First fish, second cast. On a two flopper. And off he goes. Right guys, quick update. Not be having a fight on there. Um, good start, first cast, first cast caught him for me. Uh, probably about 44, 45 centimetres. I didn't I didn't even measure it and chucked it, uh, released it straight away. And uh, my mate had a second cast right in. They moved in uh, earlier than we thought but did not, it's not a blank for him, so hopefully we'll get through them again and I get some more cut. It's a big tide again tonight. Uh, not, what is it? 9.4? 9.3? 9.4, yeah. Big tide. So hopefully we'll get a few more. You know, we've got about a couple of hours high tide and then probably fish about an hour or two if you've got any more, more base left. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> Caught dinner the this guy in it. A little sand deal, very fresh. Could possibly put it in the hook. Literally, must have just had it in his mouth, just spot it out. Very fresh. So, yeah. Good start, promising. After Friday night, it's a Sunday night now. I thought when the full moon's on, not fishing, but my mate's saying opposite. <laughs> you believe in science. So, fingers crossed get back to you so we get any more. Second fish of the night for me. A little white in. Right, release this little fella. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's a good pipe. Whoa, 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 that's not a white in. Huh? Seriously, get it. Mad bite that, yeah, it's still on. Why is it cuddling? Huh? And uh, another white in. <laughs> Second one for us. Bite on sand deal. 
Yeah. Getting these some bites on the rods now. Both of them are rattling. Just chuck a sand hill out the the cod I caught the spatty out, so put it on the hook and send it out. I finally someone caught a ray here the other day, so you never know. Shows you, uh, shows you that um, cod feed on the sand hill as well. Getting little tap taps, uh, probably biting bites. About an hour with high tide now. Yeah, yeah, Usually, fish is better uh, about an hour to high tide. Just fish off the high, but a bit slow. So far we've got two, two fish each. Fingers crossed. Fish on again, a little whiting, possibly. Yeah. Another dreaded whiting on the sand deal. Probably been there 10 minutes. On the glow and beat. Right in. On the on the sand deal, like, uh, oh, dude, that, that, that sand yeah, deal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Deeply hooked as well. Come on. Might chuck this one back out again. <laughs> I don't know, the second or third whiting. Fish on. Oh, double header. A double of whiting, yeah. Chuck this one back. Makes a difference, doesn't it? Nice one, on a two clopper. Yeah, lovely. And a tiny bite. You are beating me now. Ready? You beating me now. How many have you got now? Six? I think so, yeah. Yeah. And I've got four. They loving this sand deal, aren't they? <laughs> caught one already, and I chucked it out and caught another one on the same bait. Uh, one thing with small hooks, so it's just like nightmare to get it out. Tiny. Uh, where are we? Might need the pliers for this one. That's a big one there, though. Huh? Yeah, getting bigger, aren't they? Right, 
Vikings have moved him well and truly now. Um, biggest one yet. Just one cast off there, another. And this one was on the sand deal again. I caught one on it and then pre well chucked it back out and I caught another one on the same bait. Uh, just a quick um, bait binder on it and uh, it was still on. Probably chucked back out again. Always seems to catch a white in. Well, my mate got just a dab, double a double day, in. Right, chuck this one back. Yeah, white in what number? Lost count. Lost count. <laughs> Possibly chuck that bait out again. Yeah. Just checking if it's had a hit. No. Has it? Yeah, it's got a little bit of hit there. On the top fins. Yeah, that's why I look. Yeah, look. Yeah? Drop it down a bit. Yeah, 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 got a teeth mark there, yeah. down there. And there at the back, yeah. So it must have hit that. Let's see. There's one there. Yeah, there's a little, little, little mark there. And there. Yeah. Whoa. Anyway, took this one back. Alright, guys. Quick update. <laughs> Why well, I can see it at the moment. One up the another still. But my mate had a whiting on and then something with the teeth. Gone for it, with the teeth mark on it, so could be a nice size cotton. Not even I am not I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell out here or not. So yeah, uh, about 10 minutes to high tide. Probably give another hour after high. And we'll see how we get on. Getting a white in a cast at the moment. So, if we get any decent fish, uh, we'll get back to you. On the sand deal. It's like a species of today, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and a little splat on a sand deal. Chill out. <laughs> a nice little doggy for me. What is it? Um, third species. Wasn't expecting this fella. It was on the sand deal again. Surprisingly, third time. Third cast and three fish with it. Unreal and third species. And a nice little doggy. <laughs> right, let's let's chuck him back. Like caught yeah, in a fish. <laughs> this is the sandy I've been catching on on the top hook on the uh, glove and beads. One up, one down. 
the third cast and the three fish on it. Two white and doggy now. Brilliant. I might cast it out again. Look at the state of it. That's right, all the fish come on the top hook. The small one, I mean the bottom one. Bottom one untouched. Madness. Right, let's chuck this one out again and see if we get any more. Yeah? Fish on, guys. Yeah? About time. Has it? I think it's a white one. You never know. Yeah, it's white. Keep it again. <laughs> uh, white, I think. What? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, did you see that? What was that? I don't know, did you see that? Whoa, just slow down a bit. Yeah, yeah, slow down. Whoa, what is it? There's something behind it. Oh, cod, cod got it, I think, now. No, it's cod then. Unless he just hooked it now. Oh. <laughs> no way. What was that behind it, though? What was it behind it? Yeah, did you see that? Yeah. Chasing it. Splashing and everything on the top water. Yeah, Bambi now. <laughs> wow, amazing. That was strange, that. Wow. Something was definitely attacking to it, wasn't it? <laughs> First codlin for you. Yeah. It was something was attacking to it as well. Definitely a big fish attacking to it. And it's gone back. Alright guys. Just parked up in the car now. Uh, well, what a night. Uh, it started about, started off uh, good with the codlin, first cast codlin for me, and then the whitings are moved in and just it was getting silly on the whiting, uh, biting a cast it was. So it carried on uh, till uh, high tide, and then uh, <laughs> and the surprise species turned up, which I've not caught uh, for a good couple of months now, and a dogfish. Uh, it was a bit of a change from uh, whiting and then as we as we were packing up and uh, my mate got a uh, codlin as it was reeling in nice and slow and there was a massive fish behind it it was either trying to swim with it or or trying to attack to it it was mad i might have a caught it on my gopro but probably a bit dark so and uh first codlin i've caught is about um sand deal out and I caught, I caught three fish with them with the cut in half chop the tail off and uh, put it on the two hook flapper with the glove and bees and uh, end up end up catching a uh, two white and a dogfish with it <laughs> madness anyway it was a decent well turned out to be a decent session first we we went for bait pumping done all right with them we lasted uh, all night lasted about three or four hours so doing well on the worms you, you've probably seen it uh, at the beginning and uh, yeah long drive back home now thanks for all the sports so far we going towards 400 su 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 subscribers uh, so thank you for that and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you soon